to the Ask Rebecca radio show. Thank you for joining me. I hope that everyone had a great week uh, last week. As I suspected, uh, last week's predictions, we would be dealing with an emotional week of like ups and downs. And thank you to those of you who actually contacted me and shared your stories on how the week played out for you. I love hearing from you and appreciate the validation. So thank you for letting me know. Um, I know I was witness to a couple of emotional outbursts um, out and about, and uh, it just kind of validated what I was feeling for last week. So tonight's predictions will run through to next Thursday, July 6th. Here's what you can expect as an overall theme for the week and then specific areas in love, work, finances, health, and spirituality. These are general predictions, so they're for everyone and uh, basically everyone who watches and listens to this episode, no matter if you tune in live or watch the recording after the fact. So the general theme for this week is um, a couple of things, equality, fairness, generosity, and the cyclical nature of life. Um, along with some judgment, jumping to conclusions, and or making hasty decisions. Uh, So it's going to be an interesting week. There's definitely going to be a lot of positive things that are happening, uh, but it's going to be running with some negative undercurrents that will be pushing us. And, you know, it's the negative isn't negative. It's just really a perception. Uh, You can look at it from whatever angle. So sometimes you have to go through a little negative stuff in order for it to create a positive outcome. So you're headed into a positive positive cycle regardless. Um, This week, you'll see signs of a turn for the better uh, in a lot of areas, especially in regards to money and abundance. Uh, Everyone will experience some sort of giving and receiving of generosity. And generosity isn't always about cash money. It shows up in other forms like more important things uh, like someone's time, support, um, help you know, in whatever way. So it, it generosity will show up in, in multiple ways. So it might be a variation of those things. Maybe somebody helps you move, somebody, you know, gives you a dollar, who knows, but either way, um, you know, the support and help and generosity will be there for you guys. So definitely be open to receiving. That's super important because you can't receive uh, cash money or someone's support if you're not open to allow people to help you. And, you know, also uh, be in a space of giving as well. So make sure you're accepting, you're giving, you're receiving, you're allowing, and things will uh, definitely work out in your favor. Now, this week, definitely pay attention to when you're judging someone um, or if you're judging yourself. The tendency this week will be pretty strong in all of us to kind of uh, our inner judge mentor people. You know, we're just going to be judgy. So, you know, pay attention. Um, The judgmental aspect of things that's coming out uh, really is um, just a, a boost in spiritual awakening. And I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, but it's the judgment is going to manifest itself and it's either going to manifest itself uh, with you realizing how judgmental you are or how you jump to conclusions or how others are making these judgments about you and jumping to conclusions. So just be aware of this. Um, It will happen. Like there's no doubt in my mind, it will happen. It's happening. So become aware of this type of behavior in yourself and others so that you can put a stop to it uh, within you and give others more chances to overcome judgment as well. So again, just pay attention to it and maybe try to slow down uh, in your day-to-day interactions so you can really pay attention to when you're being judgmental. And I mean, we make judgments about everything, including the weather. Oh my God, it's hot, it's cold, it's raining, it's this. It's So there, it's judgment shows up in mysterious ways but it's it'll be there so pay attention uh you'll also have a strong urge to make impulsive decisions so again pay attention to what's going on with you otherwise you could end up making it you know making some choices 
that could bite you in the butt. And uh, I mean, if they do, it's okay. Just learn from the experience. But again, pay attention to impulse. Uh, and it could manifest itself in a number of ways. Again, it, you know, uh, in the U.S., the 4th of July is coming up. Everybody likes to go out and drink and have fun. So just again, pay attention. Don't be impulsive about choices that you're making. Um, those of you that are employed, uh, who have jobs, for some work gets better out of the blue and you have support from a powerful person and, you know, powerful person, maybe meaning the person that manages you or the owner or the boss or somebody that, you know, you would deem as above you when, but in reality, nobody is, we're all equal. So, um, again, so you could be having some support from this person. Uh, it's also a good time to ask for a raise. Uh, if you don't want to ask for a, a raise, it's a good time to find another company where you could make more money. Some of you will be embarking on starting your own businesses or maybe receiving funding from a bank uh, or a loan uh, or just some way I feel like there's money coming towards you that's going to support your business uh, if it's already running or if it's not already up and running, then you're going to have some extra cash to actually create the business. Uh, oh, some of you are being watched at work. Some, some of you need to make sure that you're putting in the extra effort this week and pay attention to detail. Uh, I feel like, you know, eyes are watching to make changes. So make sure you're, you're paying attention. Um, if you've been trying hard and you've been doing your best, it's, it will pay off. If you've been slacking off at work, well, then you better get uh, quickly organized and, you know, make it look like you're just on top of your game because it could work out in a negative way for you or what perceives to be maybe a negative way, but it could be a blessing in disguise. So either way, just know some of you might be being watched. Um, for those of you that are looking for a job this week, it's really going to be kind of slow. It just doesn't feel like there's going to be any real forward moving type action oriented stuff happening um i think it will be more along the lines of maybe you know on saturday or something you have a little downtime and you're vegging out and maybe you're doing a little bit of uh, a search online for some jobs or maybe you're updating your resume uh i i kind of feel like those of you that have been pounding the pavement to find a job maybe this is a good week to kind of Take a break, obviously not complacent, but maybe just relax a little bit and give yourself, you know, some downtime of not stressing yourself out about finding a job. Sometimes when we let go, it just ends up happening uh, naturally. Uh, love, those of you in committed relationships or dating, marriage, whatever you want to, you know, whatever your status is, but if you're entangled with someone else, then this week your relationship will, uh, I think it'll be a time of like happy, generous, fair and balanced, or it's going to actually be you realizing how your relationship is none of those things I just listed, where they're out of balance, unfair, not generous and unhappy. So um, for some of you, it is going to be a make or break kind of week. So, you know, try to, I don't feel like it's going to be a week of like arguing and fighting. I just feel it's going to be this spiritual awakening of just having realizations that you're not happy about these certain things. Um, Either way, I feel like uh, you all need to allow yourselves to receive from your, your honey, your baby, whatever, um, you know, be open to receive from them, whether it shows up in a material way or a spiritual way, just have your heart open to receive and then be sure that you're reciprocating that in kind as well. And if you're on the negative side of this, then you need to get very, very clear about what it is you want out of life and what you want out of this relationship. Uh, it's time to stop going round and round and either make some positive changes for the better, or maybe it's time to cut your losses and move on. So give some real thought and consideration to that. Obviously, do not make any hasty decisions because that's going to work against you this week. So no hasty decisions. Uh, those of you looking for love, I feel like 
Um, some of you, I feel like you're really, you're likely to meet someone who's positive, kind and generous. Um, and it feels to me like it will be someone uh, that you meet through an introduction. So from someone you already know, whether it's an acquaintance or a friend or, you know, um, somebody just going, Hey, have you met my friend, uh, so-and-so, uh, let's see. Oh, and, and for those of you that are open like that, I just feel it's important to let other people in your lives know that you're actually dating, um, that you're looking, that you want to be, you know, out there, um, meeting someone because again, it's only going to up your chances. Like you want to be putting yourself out there. Uh, then the rest of you, I kind of feel like, you know, some of you will meet that special someone in the near future. It's like orbiting right outside of you. It's, it's there, it's hovering, but you're blocking a little bit. And I feel like you first need to learn how not to jump to conclusions, positive or negative about, you know, a person that you end up meeting or having the potential with. So I feel like some of you go into it with like, oh my God, this is going to be the one. Is this my soulmate? And you, you have these unrealistic expectations or put too much pressure on yourself or the other person. And then that ends up causing things to kind of fizzle when you, you, you know where I'm going with this. So, or you might have a negative tendency to look at someone finding all their flaws first and never giving them a chance. So this week, maybe have some realizations about that. If you've caught yourself doing that in the past with other people that you've attempted to date finances for some uh, money and contracts are headed your way next week. Uh, be careful with speeding. For some reason, I feel like some of you might get some tickets. Uh, so pay attention that you're not out there hauling booty. Um, I feel like others, you're finally going to see some payoff for all the hard work that you've been putting in, whether it's at work, you've been putting in some extra hours, or you know you have your own business and you've really been busting your butt. I just feel like you're going to see some financial rewards. Um, I feel like overall, uh, for everyone, I feel money and generosity is coming for all this week. No matter who you are, um, I kind of feel, you know, whether it's big or small, it's coming. Like, it, it's coming. So, and it's also a time to share. Uh, remember, you know, what you put out is what you receive. So, what goes around comes around, and giving and receiving go hand in hand. So, you know, give a little. If you have a little extra to give, just give a little. Um... Health. Um, I feel like you can expect an increase in health and vitality for the week. Uh, I feel like some of you will actually stumble across some new healing modalities or meet a healer that you absolutely just like, ah. Uh, some of you will be dealing with letting go of the past and the perceived wrongs that have been done to you by others. Uh, I feel like those of you who have this issue are probably already dealing with somewhat of a chronic health issue or are constantly dealing with some sort of illness uh, because of holding on too long and too tightly. So it's time to let go. You don't have to stay mad at someone to prove they're wrong. Uh, it only hurts you more than it hurts them. So it, it's really time to let go and, you know, uh, just think positive. Uh, it sounds silly, but it's powerful. It's very, very powerful. Spirituality, uh, be open to new ideas, uh, new ideas and new experiences. This week, you'll find yourself awakening to exploring things you couldn't conceive of even looking at in, in the past. So there's really going to be like this awareness and awakening of things. So I just kind of feel like you'll be interested in exploring and looking and learning. And uh, it feels kind of nice. Uh, the rest of you, I feel like you're going to be in the space where you find yourself sharing what you've already learned with others uh, and those people sharing with you. So kind of, you know, like-minded people finding each other and connecting and sharing. Um, I definitely feel like it's time for a lot of you to come out of the spiritual closet. Be you, be yourself. Don't be afraid to be interested in these sort of things um, because, you know, you'd be surprised how many other people are as well. 
So that wraps up this week ahead. I hope, uh, you know, everybody has a great week and the predictions help you a little bit. I hope everyone uh, has a great week ahead and a happy 4th of July to everyone that's celebrating. Um, let's see really quickly if I can get any messages from crossed over loved ones. Uh, and to get messages, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I use that as a filtering mechanism. Um, so I'm getting the name Chrissy and for whatever reason, like I, the name, it just keeps coming as Chrissy Teigen, but I don't feel like it has anything to do with Chrissy Teigen and just that maybe the name Chrissy is what, what stands out the most to me. Uh, I feel like this is a male on the shorter side short hair super tight curls um well he's not really saying anything he's just kind of showing himself to me he's got jeans on a belt long sleeved shirt it, it almost looks like all jean attire um referencing almost like the 80s and the 90s but he's not really sharing anything with me uh just the name chrissy so i hope that means something to someone uh let's do uh let me go ahead and take the caller we'll skip the moment of zen i'll make sure i do it next week and tonight i'm speaking with jennifer in pikeville kentucky hi jennifer how are you i'm doing well rebecca how are you Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there. I'm glad it's almost the weekend. <laughs> all we can do. <laughs> well, I was hoping to connect with a loved one that passed away a few months ago. Okay. Um, what is your loved one's name? Her name is Pat. Okay. There are several that's crossed over, so if one of them comes forward, it'll be good. <laughs> okay, I'll awesome. it's Pat. So I feel, okay, so Pat is not able to really communicate with me. So I feel like I have a, a, a person that's coming in and kind of saying like, she's okay, she's healing. Um, did she pass away from like an illness where she was doing a lot of medical treatments? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like her body is polluted with chemicals. So to me, that kind of represents maybe she passed away from um, cancer or something and had a lot of chemo or radiation or just pumped full of a lot of um, chemicals. And I just feel like her body, she's healing right now and she's not in a space where she can actually communicate like this. Um, I do feel like... Were you guys, like, best friends? She was my mother. <laughs> she was your mother. Okay, because I'm getting the feeling yeah. of, like, best friends and that she's going to be coming to visit you first. Like, you're the very first person on the list of people to come visit once she's healed. And, again, I'm getting this third party, so it's not her that's talking to me. <laughs> Is it, uh, a man or, is it a man or woman? Can you pick up that third party? Because I think I know who it is. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see here. Because that's another person I was wanting to talk to as well. So he or she will. Um, oof. It's weird because I don't really feel in a gender with this person, but when I'm pushing, I almost feel like it's a male. Um, and it feels, I, it's weird. I, like, I feel like I see him in suspenders. Does that make sense at all? I guess, yeah, a little bit. I'm, I was hoping okay, it was my grandfather. Okay, is he bald? Because it's it's really weird, okay? This is how I'm going to describe I'm going to describe to you what I'm seeing and I'm trying to interpret this, but he's not very sh Basically, I'm seeing a man wearing jeans with suspenders, but he's showing himself like completely bald, like completely hairless. 
Was your grandfather bald? <laughs> no. No, he wasn't. No. The, the one that's still alive, it sounds like you're describing my dad, but he's alive. <laughs> okay, so is, then maybe is, whoever I'm talking to is... Daddy wears fingers a lot. And he's bald? Because I just see... Yeah, I, my dad right, is, is, I'm sorry, what? I said uh, my dad is bald, but he's still alive, and his dad is bald, and he's still living. So I've got two grandmothers over there, but... I don't know, they, they tend to make themselves known around me a lot, so my grandmothers do. Both of them are over there. Yeah, with my mom. The, the energy that's communicating with me, I don't feel like is connected to you as a loved one. I feel like this is maybe just an energy that's coming in. Like, there's no gender attached to whoever is giving me this information right now. Right. But I'm just seeing the images, and it could very well be connected to people that are alive. But it, he's this energy is communicating to me for your mother. So I feel like it could potentially be your dad that is the topic of conversation of the images that I'm being shown. Yeah, she, she would be worried uh, about my father probably. Um, now, you said your grandmothers both have passed away? Yeah, they're uh, both over there. Do, d does the name Eleanor mean anything to you? Eleanor, no, but my one of my grandmothers had a sister named Helen. I have no idea who Eleanor would be. And now I'm getting... I It's coming across to me as Eleanor, um, but yeah. one of the grandmothers... She's making me feel like she's always around you. Like she gives you signs and everything. Like she's showing you that. Like she's showing me in your in your bedroom, in the bathroom. Like she's all over your your house all of the time. Like she's. <laughs> I was just in the bathroom uh, before you said you were going to take a call, or so. That probably is it. Do you feel like it's maternal or paternal? Well, let me describe her because I'm not able to Perfect. tell. So oh, yeah. She, she uh, makes me feel like she's really feisty, but she's like funny and she seems more down to earth than the other grandmother. Yeah. What color hair? Can you see any color hair or anything? I yeah, I see brown hair, and it looks like it's, she looks younger to me, so it looks like it's got some waves in it, some curls. Like, I just feel like um, she did herself up, like, really, looked really good. Um, and I feel like she was connected to lipstick. Did she wear lipstick? Yeah, she did. You're actually was connecting to my mother, you know. <laughs> what my mother looked like. She had brown, wavy, short hair, and she always wore lipstick. That was the main contention when we buried her, that she had lipstick on her lips. Yes, because I feel like I she, it's, she's literally, like, saying, uh, and it was it like a red? I feel like it was a reddish-colored lipstick. Like, she's really attached to the lipstick. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's either okay, my mom so or my dad's mom. I don't mean to the margin is so much, but the the grandmother that I feel like is here with me, she <laughs> just she feels ornery almost. Like like I just feel like I want to call her granny. You know, like Oh my god, that is what I called my granny. That's my dad, the one with feisty when you were talking about. I called her granny all the time. Yeah, that so that's, I just want to be like, hey, granny, granny, you know, like granny, and she she likes that. Yeah. Um, I feel like she was a little yeah. shorter in in height. Um, I'm about five, uh, five, and she was probably my height, or probably exactly my height, or an inch taller than me. So yeah, she feels shorter. She feels. Um, did she wear her hair up? Her what now? Did she wear her oh, yeah, hair up? Oh, yeah, she wore up? her hair up I all the time. Because I feel like her hair was up. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I talked now. over you. You're good, honey. You're fine. Because my phone's breaking up a lot, too, so I figured what you were saying. Oh, Lord. I know that since my mother died, I've I've been a medium my whole life, and I've got abilities, and I've been wondering where they come from. And it's funny, she's the one that, that stepped forward, other than my mother, because she's the one I had a conversation about with, about my abilities. So it's really a rough thing for me right now. Since my mom died, I've been able, they've been sharper for some reason. And like you said, something is always, I feel someone always around me when I'm yeah. here. So. Well, well, I feel like you're surrounded by more than just like your family members, but you're also surrounded by your guides. And because of the fact that you do have these abilities, sometimes spirits, you know, other people will come out of the woodwork because they know that you have this gift and they want to be able to communicate with yeah. you. And the yeah. energies right now, like it's only going to intensify. I really feel like you should do something with this. And your whole crew is saying, yes, 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 yes. Um, I feel like the, the, the one that's with you all the time is, is the grandmother that wears the hair up. Like, I just feel like she's right. always I, there. I would believe it because she was always, my, my granny was always like, she had to be number one. She had to be the, the, the front and center of attention. So her coming forward out of all of them doesn't surprise me in the least. So, yeah, she's, <laughs> is my, she's where do, like, where do my abilities come from? Did I get them from my grandmother, from the universe, or what? Was I born like this? Because that was one of the only questions I had, and then I'll let you go. I won't keep you on here forever. Oh, that's okay. No, uh, you, well, you were born like this. We, we all have these gifts and abilities. You've just had a longer time at working on opening up to them and having these gifts. Like you've had past lives where you've had to deal with this. And, you know, it's, it's natural for all of us. You're just open to it. And it is, I feel like a lot of members of your family have this gift and ability. Um, I feel like there's some kids in the family that have it right now too, that you could be helping um, and aren't really sharing. I think you probably know, um, I think you probably know who I'm talking about, uh, w witnessing like some odd behavior, but it's totally natural. We all have it. Uh, we just block it and you are luckily enough to have yeah. it wide open. So do you. Because I've been using it, but I'm still trying well, to make heads and tails. Use it. Um, I definitely, one last thing really quick, because your grandmother is just like hanging around. Um, I only okay. have 30 seconds, but she's saying you got to, don't be stuck in the past. Like she's saying like, it's okay to be nostalgic and like reminisce and all of that, but don't stay stuck there and that you need to, you need to be doing, using your creativity. It's important for you to use your creativity um, is what she's saying, but not quite like that. <laughs>